For face-to-face, belly-to-belly sales, Lincoln Heritage could be a really good place for agents to start at. And today, I'm gonna go over some of the things that they do that can be very attractive, including how they finance leads and have a very unique advanced commission structure. And guys, before we get started, if you'd like a copy of both the warning page that I leave with every policy that I sell, along with the policy summary, just hang around all the way to the end of the video. I'll show you how to get these for yourself. Now, the warning page is designed to chase off unwanted insurance agent who, well, may be attempting to replace your policy. And the policy summary is the form that I leave with everyone I sell. And you're going to be able to put your information on it, maybe even your photograph, along with a reminder of the monthly premium amount and the draft date for the client. In my very first three years of selling final expense on a face-to-face basis, I actually wrote over a million dollars of annualized premium and ended up being one of the highest producing agents in the country. Now, I'm not telling you this to brag. The reason I'm sharing this with you is so that you'll understand that I am speaking with you from the perspective of an agent who's actually been there and done that not just some marketing guru. And I would never ask anything of an agent that I didn't actually do myself. Back when I first realized that selling final expense insurance was something that I absolutely wanted to try, one of the very first places that I went to was Lincoln Heritage. Actually, I think it was the first place. The agency in Davy that I went to offered to finance my leads, I thought that was pretty cool, and start me at a 55% commission level. And just to be clear, I'm not sharing that with you as an excuse to bash, defame, or harm Lincoln Heritage, but 55% commission, to me, that's fair if the agent is actually paying for the leads, not just financing them. Nowadays, you can find Lincoln Heritage agents that will start your commission around 100% or so. And uh, to me, that's absolutely fair if you're a new agent who has to learn the business and if you're getting leads financed. And I mean, really, with the financing, that can be pretty sweet. If you're getting training, support, finance leads, and 100% first year commission, man, in my opinion, Lincoln Heritage can be a great place to start. Thing is, most agents fail within their first year in the insurance industry, and the fact that Lincoln Heritage will take on all of that risk is actually pretty cool. Most insurance companies advance a nine months commission, which means they're advancing you on nine months worth of commission that you have not yet earned. And I'm not sure exactly how Lincoln does it, but they actually have a way of advancing you even more than that, which is pretty crazy awesome for the right agent. And at the same time, it could be a big mistake for the wrong agent. What happens is that a lot of agents notoriously will make a bunch of sales and then they won't service the clients. And the agent quits, decides he's gonna do something else or decides he's gonna try working with a different IMO or agency or insurance company. And the next thing you know, that agent has a lot of clients who maybe make a payment or three, then fall off the books. And again, since we as agents always have to pay back unearned advance money, the agent ends up in debt, upside down, can't afford to pay back the money, then ends up rolling the debt up to the manager, Lincoln Heritage, who in turn has to pay that debt back to the to the company because he's the one responsible, right? The manager is always the one that's taking the hit. Then of course, he or she either has to sue the agent to get their money back and or the agent gets vectored, which lets all the other insurance companies know that the agent owes money to an insurance company and now what happens is a lot of carriers won't want to have anything to do with that agent until the debt is paid back at least. When this happens and the agent was on a lead financing program, the debt tends to get multiplied. And now the agent feels like they're better off going back to working at a regular job you know, than sticking it out and working in the insurance industry. Lincoln Heritage has the funeral advantage product that comes with each policy. It's kind of like what we do with SBLI with their Sequoia funeral concierge plan. All the client or the agent has to do is call into an 800 number and a customer service representative will take down the client's wishes for their funeral. And when they actually pass away, the beneficiary can just call Funeral Advantage and get discounts on caskets, 
cremations urn, and even more. It, just like what I mentioned before, what we do with SBLI. This is a great way of building value in the product that the agent is selling. A couple of other things that I like about Lincoln Heritage is that they have their own product. And if the agent decides to stay in the industry, but leave them, they can simply walk away from Lincoln Heritage, no problem, and go somewhere else without needing to get released from the agency. And to me, that's pretty cool. Not only that, but Lincoln Heritage is huge, and they probably recruit more unlicensed insurance agents than any other final expense company, well, that I know of at least. So now, if you're an agency owner like me, you're having conversations with ex-Lincoln Heritage agents every single week, which means more opportunities to turn an average insurance agent into a final expense super producer. And since the final expense product that they sell is on the more expensive side for sure, I'm not, I'm not saying that as a negative, it's just a fact, it tends to be easy to replace for independent insurance agents who work with agencies like mine that specialize in having multiple affordable products. With all that being said, had the shady agency manager who had offered me that 55% back in Davie with Lincoln Heritage, you know, the first year commission, when I went to Lincoln Heritage around 10 years ago, had they actually offered me commission levels that would have been like somewhat ethical, I might have ended up working for them and who knows, I could have ended up being one of those creepy dudes who goes around showing you his W-2 in order to recruit you. <sighs> Whatever, man. If you'd like a copy of the policy summary and the warning page that I mentioned earlier in the video, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. For more information on working with us and having access to our top producer remote sales platform, the one that I talk about all the time where you can get like 20 to 30 appointments every single day of people that actually expect a call from you with a quote for affordable life insurance, just shoot me an email at that same address. Remember guys, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get out there or get on that headset and whatever you do, make sure that you do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.